Billy C here, and uh, we got this week's YouTube Talking Boxing with Billy C YouTube special. I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, we're going to start it off, you know, because I'm pressed for time, man. So you got to check out our regular show Monday through Friday, 6 to uh, 7.30 a.m., soon to be 6 to 8 a.m. live, TalkingBoxing.com, but I'll get to that later. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. This is from a police bo- blotter, which seems to be a regular thing in boxing these days. Um, yeah, they found, uh, they seized uh, two handguns, a uh, couple of bulletproof vests, plenty of ammunition, and two cars from uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, when they were investigating a shooting that took place outside a skating rink in Las, Las Vegas. But uh, Mayweather is not a uh, suspect in this. Uh, you know, they interviewed uh, his fo- his father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., and he said, <laughs> which translated to, he doesn't understand where he gets this uh, criminal activity from, but uh, in any event, uh, we got uh, a couple of things I wanted to talk to. Some fights last night, Saturday night, uh, Marco Captain Huck uh, improved his record to 26 wins, one loss, one draw, 20 of his wins coming by knockout, and he's the new WBO Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, he beat Victor Emilio Ramirez in a uh, very tough fight uh, that went the distance. Uh, the judges scored at 116-111 twice, and uh, the third judge saw it at 115-112. Uh, hey, it was a great fight. Uh, Marco Captain Huck is one of these uh, cruiserweights that have been real busy, so I, I was pretty glad to see that he won that fight. Uh, on the undercard, uh, former world heavyweight champion Lehman Brewster, uh, in his bid to start getting back in the heavyweight mix, uh, fell short. He lost to uh, Jibenga Oklakun, uh, who's uh, drops to uh, Lehman Brewster dropped to 35 wins, five losses, 30 of his wins coming by knockout. But uh, the unanimous decision win went to uh, Jibenga Oklakun. Uh, who improves to 17-1 and uh, 10 knockouts. So, uh, Lehman Brewster, man, I know you were a world champion, but uh, you've seen better days. Uh, talking about better days, I can't remember the last time I saw a better Friday Night Fights card. Um, Juan Urango in, uh, uh, against Randall Bailey. What a fight that was. Um, I was real hard picking uh, who was going to win that fight. Uh, I ended up going with Urango. Uh, but uh, talk about Bailey. You know, I, I tell you the truth. Not that I'm comparing him with Tommy Hearns at all, but I saw some uh, I saw some similarities when uh, I watched uh, uh, Randall Bailey. You know, wait and just you know with that hand cocked, ready to unload that powerful right hand, which he clearly has dropping Urango. Urango's got a granite chin. He got himself up off that, which was surprising. I mean, that was a devastating punch to drop him. Uh, but the difference is that if Randall Bailey would have used his jab more, uh, I think he wins the fight. He clearly ran out of gas. He was in tons of trouble. Uh, I don't even uh, blame his corner for throwing in the towel. He was It was done. He was spent. Uh, it was a great fight. Very entertaining. Um, I loved it, man. And, and I can't say anything bad about the, uh, the, the, the other fight, too. Tavarius Cloud, uh, I tell you, this kid looked fantastic. Uh, powerful puncher, never seemed to run out of gas, came in shape. And I want to give all the credit in the world to Clinton Woods. He's 37 years old. Uh, a lot of people were, were critical of him, saying that his career is over and everything. i, I got to be honest with you, I don't think his career is over. I think at 37 he fought, you know, youth will always prevail. Just If you've never read the book, Jack London, every, all my listeners are sick of hearing me say it, but it's called A Piece of Steak. It's a short essay. Read it. Uh, but youth against, you know, experience sometimes when the youth is in such good shape like Tavorius Cloud was Friday night, it's hard for, for a guy to win. But he took it all. And uh, Clinton Woods, you know, if he decided to uh, to stay active, I, I don't know if I would disagree with it. You know, um, I thought Clinton Woods looked good, but uh, Tavorius Cloud looked better and won the fight. I mean, he deserved it, you know. Um, I, I tell you, it was the best. Uh, it, I think it was the best um, card that I've seen on Friday Night Fights in a long time. Uh, coming up this week, we got a lot of stuff on the Talking Boxing with Billy C. Show. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is a, a new affiliate. You know, we're adding these affiliates like uh, some of you people out there, you know, uh, change your socks. But uh, CKTP, we want to welcome uh, 95.7, the Wolf FM uh, from New Brunswick, Canada. And uh, what makes this so unique is that uh, listeners kept emailing the station, telling them that they wanted to hear the Talking Boxing with Billy C. show. And finally, the program director reached out to me and said, hey, tell me about your show. We told them about it, and uh, we're proud to say that we've added them as an affiliate, and they'll be airing uh, 
uh, our show. Uh, they're going to be taking the weekly version uh, on Sunday. So we're going to start off up in New Brunswick on Sunday. So uh, we want to welcome them to the family. I want to welcome them to the family. Uh, but uh, also, this week, coming up on the Talking Box with Billy C. Show, uh, we got some special stuff going on, uh, including a, a Joe Gans. Uh, we're going to feature Joe Gans pretty much throughout the week. Scott and I are going to break down uh, the famous fight between Joe Gans and Battle and Nelson that took place in 1906. It's part of our Greatest Fight series, so don't miss that. Then we're going to take and uh, take it a step further. We're going to take one of the co-authors, Mark Scott, is going to come on and give us an essay of the whole fight, round by round by round, and everything that was going on prior to and after the fight. And if you thought that wasn't enough, well, our feature fighter next week is Billy Costello. And what I'm going to do is have Billy Costello come on and talk. After we tell you what you guys think, we're going to have Billy Costello come on and talk about his time as a champ, uh, his time as uh, his second career, and also his time now current as a, uh, a New York State boxing judge. And he's got some comments to make on uh, on judging, and especially in in uh, f- what's happened with the uh, Paulie Malignaggi and Juan Baby D- Bull Diaz fight uh, last week. And finally, our, uh, our heavyweight spotlight uh, this week coming up is going to be on Jimmy Young. Uh, Dave Wilcox got the uh, heavyweight spotlight going. I'm going to do it. It's going to feature Jimmy Young, great heavyweight in the, in the 70s and early 80s. You're going to learn about him. And, of course, our blast from the past this week, we're, we're starting to feature some guys you know of. And I think you've heard of this guy. His name is Smokin' Joe Frazier. And that's all what's coming up on our show this week. So don't miss it. You can listen to it for free Monday through Friday. Get your coffee. Get your feety pajamas. 6 to 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. www.talkinboxing.com. I'll spell it for you. T-A-L-K-I-N. Boxing. B-O-X-I-N-G. Or... You can listen to one of the podcasts. We have two versions. One's for free. One you got to pay for, but that's because you can listen to it when you want. You could check out uh, the website for all that information, or you can listen to the show on a radio station near you. And do like the listeners did in New Brunswick. If it's not on a radio station near you, then you call up that radio station and you tell them to get it, and we will make that happen. Uh, aside from that, I just got to remind you, don't forget about our Keep the Violence Inside the Ropes campaign. Uh, we're trying to find gyms and uh, volunteers to help us uh, make a young people decide to uh, put down the guns and pick up the gloves. And uh, this thing is going great. We also are taking donations. We need the money. We're doing telethons at the gyms. So check out the website, www.keepviolenceinsidetheropes.com for all the information. Any penny you can give, we'll, we'll appreciate. Anybody that donates will get their name put on all of the literature when we go from gym to gym. And anybody that donates $20 or more will get a live shout-out on the show. So don't forget about that. And finally, one last thing before I go, make sure you check out the new website, www.billycboxing.com. It's a boxing-only content uh, website. Uh, we're looking for quality shows. Anybody that's got an, uh, an audio-based, radio-based show or video-based show uh, that has to do with just boxing, drop me an email if you want to be part of this network, Billy at TalkingBoxing.com. Other than that, you know the deal. Make sure you tune into the radio show every day during the week. Make sure you tune into the YouTube. No matter what, make sure you tune into TalkingBoxing.com, www.TalkingBoxing.com. We'll see you next week. Ciao.